Italy meets Connecticut to add Studio Pizzol in Niantic, where world-renowned Italian glass artist Fabio Pizzol hones his craft. We're so excited to have you here with us today, Fabio. This is beautiful work. Thank you very much. Buongiorno a tutti. Yeah. Uh, look at it. That was so authentic. Well, he's from Milan, That's right? True. That's so, true. So how long have you been doing this art? I grew up in, um, in a stained glass studio. My father owned it and uh, uh, created it. Mm -hmm. So um, all my life, actually, from broom sweeping <laughs> to this To creating point. your masterpieces and, here. And you even have one of your own masterpieces on your shirt. Tell yes. us about that. That's pretty neat. Not many people have a, a shirt of their artwork. I don't know how many, but I wanted to do this. This is uh, a detail of um, a mandala art glass ceiling that I wanted to, after we realized the project, I wanted to have it, uh, wear it, somehow wear it. Because in our art field, working on commission project, our art pieces, mm -hmm. they go away. They leave our studio. We don't see them anymore. Ah, so mission accomplished. Now you're wearing it. Yes. Pretty cool. Well, let's talk about some of the work that you brought with you. Now, there's different forms of this, correct? Yes, there is a different forms and different technique. I brought some samples, uh, starting from uh, um, traditional painted stained glass. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a fairy on a blooming uh, tree. We have um, Mary and a child. And we have a, a, a typical Sicilian Wagon. Wagon, yep. exactly. And, and how long will it take you to complete something like this? It, it looks like the Mary one is very intricate. Yes, it takes about a couple weeks because uh, these pieces are hand painted. The glass is uh, painted with grisal and enamel and then it's fired on a kiln. Mm. And these are, these are interesting because it seems like it's just one piece of glass, but it's all kind of melted together. Exactly. This is, a, this is called a fusing technique. You can make art glass projects uh, functional or use this inside an architectural art glass window. And these are totally made with glass. There is not paint involved. And you can use uh, pieces of glass, strip, frit. Important is that they are compatible glass. I see. And then you can melt those. You, you build as a mosaic. Uh, technique on top of a clear glass and then you melt those uh, in a kiln at 1475. Wow. That's pretty high. How, how about some of the pieces up here that you have and this well? one, the, There's more texture with these, right? Yes. So these, are, these are kind of like my, the shirt I'm wearing. I do prototype before running a project, an architectural project. So I made a project uh, building a glass stone wall. Oh, wow. And this is my prototype, combining different colors and uh, uh, today resin. This is another technique called faceted glass. Usually is put together with cement and has a big black stripe line. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's put together with silicone. So it's pure glass assembled with silicone. And the last one is uh, one of the more recent one, uh, is uh, an architectural art glass, very, very strong. I combine laminatic, lamination technique used in the industry with uh, hand process in order to apply uh, hand-blown glass mm. on a wall glass structure. It's, it's very, very, very strong. It's beautiful stuff there. And now you also had an opportunity to work with some students. Oh, yes. In fact, we have them. <laughs> Guys, come on uh, onto the set here. Welcome to the show. Tell me your names. I'm Derek. Well, Derek, come right over here towards Fabio. Maya. Maya. Adelina. Adelina. Joelle. Joelle. And Joelle, tell me a little bit about the project that, uh, that you guys worked on. Um, I really liked it and it was just really fun. Now what did you do exactly? You created seasons, different seasons out of the glass? Yeah, each class did each season and um, uh, and we did uh, fall. Very good. 
And what was the experience it like for you? Was it a lot of fun? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, <clears throat> well, um, I liked the part where, like, we made the fall stuff. Like, yeah, I bet it. I mean, it's so creative. In fact, you could see it behind you over there in all different pictures. Uh, beautiful stuff. Would you say it was challenging? Yeah, because um, you don't have all the pieces that you wanted to mm -hmm. from to make your tile just sure. how you wanted it. Well, it looks great. You could see all the different kind of images of father. And Fabio, were they good students? They were excellent students. A plus. <laughs> there you go. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us here. And, and of course, learning from the master. Very talented. And, and where can we check out your studio? You can check out my studio on the web. You can check it out coming to visit me in uh, East Lime, Niantic, 310 okay. Flanders Road. Very good. And you guys have so, special words for our viewers? Ciao. All right, what did you say? Oh, we said... You guys are glass artists, right? All right, sounds terrific. Coming up, we're going to talk to a local mom. Uh, about her experience.